Okay, so now and do we have maybe questions? Uh, maybe do we have some questions to answer, or maybe someone want to ask questions? It was uh, supposed to be question and answer. So if we have some. Rajan, Rajan wanted to ask a question, and if he is online, he can ask it now. Okay. Rajan, good. you had a, some proposal. Yes, thank no. you for unmuting me. Yes. yes. Uh, I had a you. thought as follows. You have actually seen that uh, Sputnik can measure the uh, state of the mind of the locality and all of that to the point where the nature of crime and various other factors, health and all of this, you can measure through Sputnik, right? So the suggestion that you have uh, about, you know, let's say there are 20,000 Sputniks around all over the world where you have the latitude and longitude coordinated all in all of them. You get a network and you can uh, correlate it with so many other phenomena, social and environmental phenomena and see if you can develop a dynamic model through that as things change in one place, how, uh, how it will predict on other things. So that is a very uh, big thought. The thought there is a parallel to this and I will share with you in, uh, in the United States, a company called Weatherbug. What they did was, as you know, the weather predictions come from the National Ocean Oceanographic and uh, Atmosphere Administration. So they get from the thousands of readings around the world, uh, they give the um, uh, you know, uh, forecast and all of that. But what happens is this company called Weatherbug, they were selling these small weather you know, air, this, um, uh, this thing and all of them, they were selling to schools as a science project. So in like 5,000 schools around the country, they uh, sent it. And what they did was, they integrated that uh, 5,000 uh, data co collection that was they were getting along with what National Oceanographic uh, uh, the Administration was providing. And with that, they were able to give highly localized weather information, predictive information. So in that same model, I'm thinking when you said about the thought of thousands of uh, Sputniks located all over the world feeding into the data, I think there is enormous potential if we work on it over a period of five or 10 years time, there'll be enough predictive data to predict social and environmental phenomenon is the thing that, thinking that I have. Yes, you are absolutely right. That's, uh, and this is a great idea because uh, uh, one topic when we're emerging environment is good. Absolutely another topic when we're emerging uh, human activity or some collective uh, situation. Because um, it was data, it was done by Dean Radin, it was done uh, by Lynn McTaggart to follow up some big events, like some elections or some human rights or some revolutions even. And then, of course, we can do it uh, with Sputnik as well. Absolutely. Which means we will have the Sputnik active 24 hours a day in a given location. And we can have it like, uh, you know, in like uh, 5,000, 20,000 places around the world. Absolutely, absolutely. Because in principle, um, with this new mobile system, we, we can have simple phone, which costs maybe 50 bucks or even less, 20 bucks, <laughs> because we don't need the power for phone. And then you can measure day during the day or several days. You remember maybe, I've shown uh, in the last Congress, last year, data from our colleagues uh, who have done measurements nearby energy devices uh, for many days on a regular basis. And they found a uh, repeatable pattern of an energy after some time. So that is uh, really very interesting. And of course, it may be done only if they take measurements for long time. For example, in uh, pyramids in the SEM system to put this type of Sputnik inside the tunnel for 24 hour activity, it would be maybe very interesting because I'm sure we can find different type of activity during the day and night. We have this uh, many measurement. So it's a lot of idea that can come to mind and I agree to take measurements of meditation or some energy practices, 
So we did it just the last week uh, with uh, one of our groups of young people. Uh, we are doing this practically every week. So they go, they come together for three hours to train in meditation, and we always have Sputnik staying in the corner. Uh, I have several colleagues who keep Sputnik in their uh, meeting room in their office. Uh, and they put Sputnik uh, at the ceiling and they present a big screen on the show. So only boss can see this, show, this screen. And then she can uh, follow up. Okay, team is now in very calm situation or team is excited because it's all reflected on Sputnik. And then he can direct uh, this meeting, business meetings in accordance with what he can see on the data. So that's really many interesting applications. And uh, uh, this, of course, uh, now we try to make this data more understandable for people. That's very important. Uh, so I'm thinking about this all the time. And uh, um, this in my latest book, uh, which I mentioned, uh, this uh, tells the, the tips of your fingers. I present some data on this, some ideas. But of course, we need to think how to make it more presentable to people, more easy. And this new uh, type of processing, this cloud processing, it gives some new ideas. Uh, so that's where we're going step by step. And, but I'm sure that with um, many thousand people worldwide doing this type of measurement, we would be able to create a huge database and then we apply this artificial intelligence uh, with uh, big number of data. So it's uh, in mathematics now we have uh, to process this data. It will be very, very easy. We have a next, next person who wants to speak. It's one of the oldest friends of the GDV technology. You know, when we are addressing such global initiatives, which is so ap appropriate for our time period, what also came to me was we have Roger Nelson, who's been running the regs across the world with Dean Radin, now at the Noetic Sciences. So if we were to partner collectively, like we also did with the one field, we would really add to rich data coming together. So we got reg data, we have our Sputnik data, we begin to pollinate them together. And this could become really a focal point for administrations to take note. Because we are integrating a very high level of understanding and a very high level of science, which complements to the pandemic, complements to the virus. It has really brought forth a deeper propensity of human to assess and evaluate, what am I doing in this planet? What is my contribution to the planet? What can I induct and infuse that could contribute to the revival of life? Because most of what we are all uh, witnessing is a deceleration and a, decapacit a decapacitation of life rather than an infusion and revival. And here we have one of the most advanced sciences and technologies that are here on the planet to ennoble the higher mind to really pair and really create literally, I would say lattice structures across the field of information, you know, whereby we truly can be, as Gandhi said, the change in the world we want. So let us light that glorious lamp. So dear Constantine, Nitya, Rajan, all our colleagues across the planet, we have a toast to this symphony. <laughs> okay, okay. 
<laughs> we'll read later. Yes, of course. Of course, yes. of course. Krishna, you are absolutely right. Because uh, to join uh, us with uh, the activity would be really great. And I had this idea in one of my visits to come to Heart Mass Institute to meet with uh, McCarthy because we know each other and we've been discussing many years ago. But first, I think we need to develop this project to some extent. Not to come with idea, but to come with real uh, technology and real uh, some uh, global amount of people who would be involved in it. So I hope that if we are moving forward, and I hope so, on the uh, scale that we are now, then maybe next year we would be able and be ready with at least a couple of thousands of people joining us with this type of measurements to come and offer them participation and join our efforts. And this would be really great in the I really understand. Aye, aye. We second that. And I think to see these initiatives, Rajan, you've got your hands full. <laughs> and of course, Rajan. We all do, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I think these, these, are, these are really celebratory moments because science devoid of humanity only brings flat planes. And here we have a science that is bathed in humanity to its entirety. I mean, there is the breadth and capacity for expansion has no dimension that can limit it. At all. Mm. Are you home? Okay. <laughs> okay. We have uh, another question from Dr. Evgeny Siminichin. So. Добрый вечер, Константин Хирич. Большое спасибо, во-первых, что вы все-таки нас собрали, несмотря на то, что установили границы. Я хотел бы поблагодарить и спросить, какие дальнейшие планы, чтобы мы почаще встречались, чтобы мы преодолели эти границы? Окей, so the question from Dr. Sminikin was that now we have some boundaries that doesn't allow us to meet together, and what our plans to overcome those boundaries, just to meet. And I should know it. Uh, okay, no, I, I make an answer in Russian. No, what uh, just can you do that? It's a very delay, it's a number of things that you wish I know. Right, you know, this what you're coronavirus, it's a machine, it's in the country. But I'm going to just say that you start to work with the senior on a sensual system of the city, and it's a уже сейчас можно, например, путешествовать там в Россию, Украину, это, я знаю, свободно, правда, сложно ли это долетать через вас, все эти страны, но все равно возможно, точно так же и вам, нам. Ну и поэтому мы думаем уже, вот мы обсуждали в Литве, в команды, что опять-таки запустить какие-то семинары. Значит, в этом году, в грядущем, мы планируем большую активность начать в России. И развить эту активность в России, потому что у нас как-то это все было. Значит, сейчас к нам присоединяется Лена Яновская в этом плане. Она планирует значит, двигаться уже достаточно широко. Понимаете, с ее энергией мы можем все это делать лучше. И, наверное, мы сделаем тогда просто отдельный, как бы отдельный мероприятие на русском языке. Посмотрим, как мы успеем, там, может быть, осенью, может быть, начало следующего года. Ну и вот будут состоять такие уже международные семинары. То есть, э, ну, если все будет нормально, но лучше бы будем делать уже вживую, как мы это делали. Потому что Zoom – это все хорошо, но когда можно собраться и пообщаться, это, конечно, будет социальный интерес. Окей, теперь не лучше. Окей, so um, I told that um, for this, that's practically two years, we are living in the situation of total limitation, total boundaries between countries. And it's impossible to travel practically, only to some limited places. But now 
I'm sure after some time, when most of people would be vaccinated, they will stop this and it will be possible to travel again. You know that uh, Britain announced that they closed this mask region uh, shortly. They, the people will be able to move freely without limitations. Then uh, now we can travel at least to some countries, not to all, but at least to some. And uh, I'm sure till the end of the year, it will be more, more and more open. So we uh, was discussing to make some special seminar maybe in Russian language, as we do in every particular country. Because in Spain, it should be in Spanish, or in Latin America, it should be in Spanish. In uh, France, it should be in France. Uh, in Brazil, it should be in Brazilian. So it's, it's clear and simple. Then for people it would be much easier to accept and understand. Uh, I need to stress that uh, we place all the materials of this Congress on YouTube, on our YouTube channel. And then it's very easy to click one button and, and you have subtitles in one language. So that's what people should do. In parallel, uh, Dmitry uh, and Neto made a big experiment with uh, simultaneous translation of our Congress in Brazilian, the Brazilian language. Let's see the uh, response of people. Let's see how it will come, and then maybe it will be possible to make for us a country as well. NATO has decided to translate the subtitles uh, afterwards too. Yes, absolutely. So it makes sense because people will look later on. They can, because I'm planning to look at several presentations again because they are so rich data that, of course, we need to study. And then, of course, uh, it will allow people to study. Значит, ну, опять по-русски. Ну, и вот еще один момент, что мы, естественно, все наши презентации поставим на YouTube, на наш канал. И на YouTube очень легко э, щелкнуть там, кнопочкой внизу, и будут э, субтитры на русском языке. И так далее. Uh -huh. Константин Георгиевич, а можно будет разместить и наши работы на вашем канале? Конечно, конечно, обязательно. Присылайте их нам с удовольствием, просто с удовольствием. Потому что мне очень жалко, что мы как-то потеряли связи какие-то за последний год. Это было очень хорошо. У нас были такие замечательные встречи и презентации на наших конгрессах всегда. И вот как-то это все потерялось немножко. Ну, со многими мы потеряли связь, и надо сейчас все восстановить. Так что мы с удовольствием будем все это поддерживать. Вы знаете, что мы двигаем не только биовел прибор, но мы двигаем вообще все направление. Большое спасибо, большое спасибо вам, большое спасибо Дмитрию, что он очень эмоционально перевел мой доклад. Он прочувствовал, что за ним, за этим докладом лежит очень хорошее направление. Мы его продолжим. Обязательно, обязательно продолжайте. Это очень важный и очень интересный вопрос. И Он потом... Естественно, связан с тем, что мы говорили с Сэмом Кнаевичем о пирамидах. О пирамидах у нас есть очень хорошие разработки. У нас есть была пирамида. Мы работали с ней, исследовали. Но потом нашли другую закономерность и разрушили. Теперь будем строить новую. Отлично, замечательно. Так что давайте присылайте нам все результаты этих исследований. Конечно, обязательно будем поддерживать с вами Надеюсь. связь. Большое спасибо. Рад, спасибо. просто изнутри очень рад всех вас увидеть. И привет, привет огромный всем вашим. Потому что мы... Они мы... все смотрели. Тяжело, конечно, было там. Но мы ждем, что будет и с субтитрами перевод. Да, 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 все это будет. Это будет Спасибо. Будет постепенно сделаем. Все сделаем. Ну, надо отдохнуть пару дней, я вижу по вам. А потом, да, спасибо большое. И глубокая благодарность. Окей, 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 окей. So, Anyone else wants to speak, to ask any questions from those who are online now? You have the opportunity to unmute yourself and ask the questions. 
Uh, Guru Raj, are you online now or you have disconnected? I'm here. Uh -huh. Guru Raj, there was a question to you yesterday. So the question was about the actual um, from, from Mohan Kumar. So what's the difference between Nadi pulse and the heart rate? Is, is, are they the same or uh, these are different things? Heart rate is a part of Nadi pulse. Heart rate is just a measure of uh, the heartbeat. Say, for example, we say 72 beats per minute or uh, 80 beats per minute. So this is the heart rate, what we talk. Whereas Nadi pulse, it is not just the heart rate what we calculate. We calculate the regular and irregular pattern of the beat. We calculate the pressure in which the blood is uh, flowing in the arteries. And that's been given under different segments in Nadi Pariksha. So usually, whenever we talk about the Nadi Pariksha, we are talking about the Bala. We talk about the stool condition. We talk about the toxins which are present. And because of which, there is a particular pattern and flow of blood in the artery. So that's why we call it as Gati. Uh, can I ask a clarification question? So yeah. you are saying that the heart rate, uh, well, the heartbeat is just the number of beats, okay? But the heart rate variability is uh, actually calculating lots of parameters. So it's not only the number of beats, but also the amplitude of uh, those small and big and smaller beats. And then it's also the distance between them. So there are many, many factors containing there. So maybe Nadi is what you're saying, the power of the flow. It's more about the amplitude of um, these waves uh, that yeah. of uh, the beating. Yeah, the amplitude, what you call, is called as a bala in Nadi Pariksha. So that's the pressure which the blood applies on the arteries. So that's what we measure when we take the Nadi Pariksha. That's one of the pattern again. But at the same time, there are multiple patterns which are multiple uh, informations which are taken from the Nadi Pariksha. It could be, as I told you, the Gati. Gati means the flow, the speed at which the blood is flowing inside the artery. Whether it is very fast, very slow, etc. It all determine, determines depending upon the toxins present. But the heart rate when we talk about, when we talk about the heart rate variability, then we get the amplitudes and we get the differences between whether it is regular or irregular, etc. But considering the heart rate alone, it is just the beats per minute what we take. So that's that's the number what we are uh, what we are having. And in our medical field, we take it as an average of around seventy-two beats per minute, which is considered to be normal. That's the average range. Um, whereas. In BioWell, when we are calculating, actually, when we talk about the Vata, Pitta, and Kapha, we are actually talking about the Vikruti. So Vikruti means it is a changes in the body which has happened because of either a disease or because of any type of uh, uh, problems the person may be facing. And uh, I also to add up, we are only calculating the Vikruti. It is not possible to calculate the prakriti of an individual. See, prakriti is something which is there. For example, my body prakriti is pitta kapha. So I have pitta and kapha, both. That is my prakriti. But any deviation from this is what is the vikriti, what you are going to have. And in BioWell, we calculate that. So it's more information what you're getting rather than the uh, only the heart rate part of it. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Guru Raj. Can I? Yes. <laughs> thank you so much. I'm uh, Idris from uh, Burkina Faso. We are uh, just a new student under the guidance of Dr. Rajan for mastering the BioL. But I must say that uh, really we are uh, so impressed and excited and a great honor to really uh, uh, see Dr. Koratko, who was uh, quoted many times by uh, Dr. Rajan during our training sessions. And uh, in West Africa here, we are really uh, excited with uh, this uh, approach because we have uh, one critical disease, you know, uh, who is uh, a sickle cell disease. It's very popular disease 
and uh, uh, to treat this disease for a poor level people is really very costly. So uh, when we come to discover uh, the biowell, the first thing who came to our mind is why not to explore how you know the biowell and uh, the breathing techniques through yoga can help to improve uh, this uh, disease who is very popular. And mentally it is uh, a poor family who are uh, really affected. So uh, this is in our mind. Maybe we will share the thought with Dr. Rajam and to see how we can develop this approach and come back to you. Uh, and I really want to thank you for uh, this great opportunity. Thank you. And thank you for joining us. Okay, thank, you. thank you very much, Idris. Thank you. Thank you for joining. And I hope you will enjoy working with Biwell and yeah. find lots of applications in your area. Uh, because it can be actually applied in very big amount of fields in our lives. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, um, any other questions? Uh, because we have some of the presenters here. So Vasily Kiselov here, Vladimir Vayekov here, uh, Doctor Contreras is here, Nima is online so Hisham and Sami is online so if you have questions to them so you are welcome to speak if not then uh, we will hand over the word to Dr. Korotkov to close the party okay okay so uh, I think for me it was really interesting days and I hope we all enjoyed it uh, Krishna is uh, having this uh, his uh, um, uh, panel as usual. <laughs> but we don't hear it, but it doesn't matter. And first of all, I want to thank uh, all our team for being preparing this. And first of all, Dmitri. Dmitri, you are the great one because uh, not only just uh, doing this our, by our activity, but as I told yesterday, he spent several hours by night and everybody else came to speak, just repairing our website. Yes, and it was big attack. We live in dangerous times, and we have dangers from everywhere. And we have people who want to stop the development. It's absolutely sure. So I want to suggest you all, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of coronavirus. Don't be afraid of global warming. Don't be afraid of electricity or mobile phones. Just be active, energetic. Increase your immunity, increase your energy field, and then you are will be totally protected. And I hope that all of us will work together all the time. Please send us all your impressions, information, ideas, we would answer any question uh, to me, to Dmitry, to our team, to our marketing team. And then uh, I'm sure that we will be able to move forward. As you've seen, uh, we have progress, quite big progress this year. And during this year, instead of even all the problems that we had, and we do have. But we are moving forward. And I'm sure that when we meet again after one year, maybe we meet in person, I hope so, then uh, we would be, be happy to, uh, to exchange new ideas and new data. And still, we are ready to come to any country. We are ready to, to, to come to present, to help you. Uh, so we are very simple to travel, even with having all his children. <laughs> still, he can travel. I, all my children are grown up, so for me it's much easier. So uh, you're very welcome, and you can send us ideas of what you want to do, and then uh, we can discuss it together and then think how it should be done. Okay, so thank you very much, everybody. Thank you, everybody who is watching us, who was watching us, and I send my great greetings to everybody who will be watching us on YouTube. Okay, and then now uh, for this, I want to close our conference this year.
and uh, then let's meet together in our next meetings. Okay, bye bye. Thank you very much. Excellent, excellent. We've done this screenshot of everyone. <laughs> so you see that we have people from all over the world, starting from uh, Japan and um, Taiwan. Uh, I can see Francis is still here, still awake. So then we have people from China, from India, from Sri Lanka. We have uh, people from Middle East and well, from... <laughs> From different parts of Russia that it's all over these time zones. <laughs> so from Ukraine, from uh, Netherlands, uh, from um, UK, I can see people from Israel, um, then Switzerland, Austria and Germany. Uh, Elizabeth is, I think she is uh, living in quantum reality in three places at a time. So and also we have uh, the South America. Oh, I see uh, Thierry Sutter from France here, uh, Nato from Brazil. So uh, Romania is here too. So that's lots of countries from Europe, from uh, Africa. Well, that's, I would say, one of the first uh, participants from Africa in all the 25 years. Well, Hisham, you are Egypt, but you are in Switzerland. Come on. Uh, so, um, um, so, well, excellent, excellent. Honduras here, uh, well, United States and Canada here, of course, too. And, uh, well, we had Sweden connecting uh, here in Estonia yesterday. So, so many countries connected and we are really, really thankful for all of you for uh, being with us. And one of the best things in this technology is that it, it unites the whole world. Despite all these borders and obstacles that politicians are usually <laughs> building for us, we are still able to get connected and feel united. So thanks once again and see you online or if God will allow <laughs> and politicians too in real life. Bye bye. До свидания, чао, чао, аридерчи, ауфидерзейн, whatever other languages <laughs> are here. Hasta luego. Nitya, shall we have a cosmic own? <laughs> yes. Okay, okay, okay. the last note, the, the vibrations, come on, come on. Last note, very good, Krishna, let's do it. <laughs> come along, come along. Then why don't I get the gong? <laughs> Where is it? Okay, it's coming. It's coming. I get Come the on, gong. You are right. fake, fake Krishna. If you don't have the gong, you are fake one. Come there on. We go. <laughs> Come on. Constantine, that's the intro. That's how it sounds in the universe. It's not human. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I like the Yeah. It's good to have traditions. Krishna's gong is one of the traditions of the GDV world for decades already, for decades. Thank you, Krishna. Bye-bye. <laughs> Closing the stage.
See you online. Don't forget to like the YouTube translation, leave your comments because it will help to promote the videos so that more people will see them. Okay? Hare Krishna. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Dimitri.